Hi, my name is Ryan Saranich for Saxophone Central. Today we're in beautiful Palermo, Sicily at Teatro di Verdura and we're going to talk a little bit about key leaves. Key leaves are a very simple concept and something the saxophone players have needed for quite a long time. What they do is simply open up problem parts of the saxophone so that the pads don't stick to the tone holes. I started using key leaves earlier this year in 2019 at the NAMM show after a saxophone player friend brought me over to the booth and told me that it was a product that I really needed to try. Funny enough, I had heard this quite a bit before this point. Since that point, I started with them on tenor sax and took them out on tour and tried them out and I really enjoyed the product and I ended up buying a whole other set of them and I actually still have some that I'm waiting on to come in for other horns. Typically on any given year we're playing about an average of 150 shows per year. So having something like key leaves in my saxophone case is really helping me with my maintenance. You have to think about when we're traveling this much across the world, my horns are in the back of a tractor trailer or on an airplane, sometimes even on a ferry every single day. So they're really getting rattled around. These help make sure that my horns are in shape when I get on stage. Key leaves are really simple to use and I'll demonstrate here on my alto. First, I always put one between the post for the E flat and the key. That's under there. You've got to make sure that you're getting the key to lift off of the tone hole there, just like that. The second thing I do is place another key leaf underneath the C sharp, not under the pad, which I've just accidentally done there, but enough to lift it up. So now you can see, or maybe you can't quite see, that the pad has lifted up just a little bit off of the tone hole. Considering that you're only getting the viewpoint of a player right now and not a woodwind technician, I asked a woodwind technician to give us their insights on key leaves. This is Tyler Hill and he owns Resilient Saxophones. For the past few years he's been doing any number of repairs that I've needed while I've been on tour as well as a few overhauls here and there. Um, what is the theory behind them and why is it correct? Key leaves open closed pads so they can dry. When I see the pad it will last as long as the leather and the key's relationship to the tone hole hold up. Over time, the closed keys build up more debris and gunk than the open ones. This can damage your tone holes, it damages the leather and the felt. Air significantly helps maintain these problem areas and you know, keep them in a, the correct environment. Examples, this is an open key. This is a biz key. You can look at it and tell it's an older pad, you know. I'm going to get that a little bit closer to the camera, right? Here is an F. You can see it's got that, that little black wear right around the seat of the pad. Now, this is the E-flat key. So you kind of understand where I'm going. I mean, here's the biz key next to the E-flat key, right? Now, why are key leaves a good investment? I charge $20 per pad replacement. Key leaves protect the C sharp, G sharp, E flat, and all of the palm keys, including your high F sharp if you have one. Replacing those, if I was to replace every one of those, it would be a $160 charge. Now, a set of key leaves costs $75. You can do the math. I mean, Granted, it takes a long time for pads to wear like that, but key leaves will save you money in the long haul and keep your horn out of my shop. It's kind of bad advertising for me, but it's a good product. I want you to know about it. Um, I really like the design of key leaves where they function as a, uh, it's a curved wedge with a gradual taper. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's not any kind of awkward pressures being applied which can misalign things. Um, and I personally feel like they are much better than cork and rubber stoppers due to this shape. Now, the materials are fantastic on them. It's not going to scratch or damage your horn. There's no metal on them. Um, they are a very, very, very good product. And they are absolutely on my list for Santa Claus for a stocking stuffer. 
Want more content just like this? Like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.